What's going on, everybody? My name is Zelda Friends. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Now, today I got another analog horror video for you guys today by Mob Entertainment. It is another one of their videos that they have introduced. Before we had Huggy Wuggy, and after that we had Kissy Macy. Now, today we finally get some more information about Bron. Now, you guys don't know who Bron is. It's Bron the dinosaur from uh, Poppy Playtime. And I actually did play. Uh, Project Playtime with some my uh, couple of my friends after the last Poppy Playtime video I recorded. We played it. We had a lot of fun. We plan on playing it again in the future. But enough with that being said, we're going to get right into this video because I'm ready to get scared. Because the last one didn't scare me. But anyway, this is Restricted Restoration at .mp4. We're going to start this in three, two, one, go. That was loud. Oh, they upped the budget this, with, um... I the subject is 59-year-old Thomas Clark, a full-time employee at Playtime Co. since 1955. Six months ago, he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Now, Mr. Clark of Sound Mind has volunteered for this experiment. We have eyes open. Whoa. Can you hear us, Thomas? 1199 displayed much more disorientation than we expected. Subsequent mental testing metrics were also cut practically in half. It's just conjecture on my part, but I don't believe he knows where he is or what's happened to him. To make matters worse, the other experiments could tell 1199 was different. 1199. So it's not just children they're experimenting with, they're also experimenting with adults with terminal illnesses. Oh. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, who just grabbed them, Huggy? Pull Bron. They would have killed him had the research team not intervened, and even then, there was still significant damage to the internal structures with some of the anatomy, namely the larynx and the thyroid, having been completely devoured. It took 12 hours of surgery to stabilize 1199. We keep him separated from the others now. Oh, I get it now. I get why they attacked him. So they didn't start experimenting with adults until much later into the project. So that means all the other experiments up to this certain point for this video in the timeline of Bobby Playtime, that only later on that some of them start experimenting with adults that had terminal uh, illnesses that, that would basically lead to their death. And the other toys, which were, I'm still assuming, were our children, turned on him and killed him because he was an adult. Or tried to kill him because he was an adult. <laughs> I honestly I was expecting it to be a kid this time, but no, it was actually just an, an, an adult. That's... That's, that, that's, that's interesting. Because at this point, we had only suspected that adults were the test subjects, but l later on we got confirmation that it was children, but now it's a mix mash. Huh. Okay. With chapter three to come out sometime in the near future, hopefully we get more information towards more of the test subjects and more confirmations that more adults were inflicted with the experimenting. Because this is in adding a bunch of new information that we thought before, but didn't have any confirmation on until just now. But we'll just have to wait until Chapter 3 comes out. And probably Braun may not be the big bad guy for Chapter 3, but he might be a character in Chapter 3 that could be a possible hostile. At least that's what I'm thinking could happen. But... Anyway, that's my own, that's my own, me just throwing out my own theories for this, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all stuff, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.